Lindsay Buck here with the daily vlog. Oh no, I can't say that anymore. It's not the daily vlog anymore. Hey, Lindsay Buck here. It's been a while, long time no see. So I haven't vlogged in a couple weeks. I took a little break. I completed the 365 day vlog project and I'm back now to touch base with you, do a little recap on 2019 and let you know what you can count on or expect in 2020. So let's get started. Five. So 2019, we recorded and released five singles and four music videos. It was a grueling process. I learned so much. I think that we all learned a lot. I had only been in the recording studio once before this and the recording that we did while it was in a home, um, we did so much of it that I'm definitely much more comfortable now in a recording setting. and I would like to do some more of it in the future. Yeah, it was really fun to have that cadence of releases coming out regularly for people to look forward to and engage with us on. 2019 was a hell of a year, at times excruciating. <laughs> it, was, it was a crazy, crazy year. I would like to say that it had been a really tough year and I'm really glad that it's over, um, but there were so many positives all wrapped up in it too. Um, I don't think I've ever really had a year like it, to be honest with you, so it was just, um, it was an outstandingly awesome and outstandingly at times difficult year. So we'll leave it at that. Okay, the year of the vlog. 2019, I kept up a daily vlog, which means 365 vlogs in 365 days. Towards the end, there were a handful that were late. Um, I started to run out of steam a little bit and I was distracted by other things going on, but I did complete the project. And I never would have imagined that, it, that I would have done something like that, but I'm so glad that I did and I'm really glad that I stuck with it. I have to say that the daily vlogging has helped me so much with my confidence in front of people and in front of the camera and in front of audiences which is definitely something you need if you're going to be fronting a band. I have struggled with stage fright and it's definitely getting better so thanks to the vlog for that. It was a great story to tell not only the independent musician side of it with everything that went into recording and releasing our single everything from the writing of the songs, arranging of the songs, rehearsing the songs, recording the song, production aspect of the song, the artwork, the admin that goes along with the releases, the promotion, and the contest, and the t-shirts, and the shows. There was just so much that went into it. It was really fun to document it all, and I'm so glad I have it all in video. For someone like me, at this point in my life, kind of reinventing myself to have video from almost every single day of the year is pretty, it's, it's a treasure, really. Goodbye, Don. So our drummer, Don Williams, has left the building. We have gone our separate ways. He was a great drummer. He's a driving force and it comes through in the way he plays and also in the way he works. We, we are really grateful for everything that you brought to the project, Don, and we wish you all the best in everything that you are doing now. He man hair. Yeah, I got a haircut and I hate it. <laughs> I'm trying not to uh, get too bummed out about it because it is just hair. All I really want to say about it is that Neil, my husband, is having a really good time teasing me about the fact that my hair looks like He-Man's hair. So yes, I have a He-Man haircut. That was how I ended my 2019. So. And the masters of the universe. So here's to growing out bangs in 2020. Okay, moving on to 2020. 2020. I took a couple weeks off from the vlog, a much needed break. Um, it's been great for me to take that break. It's been great for my family to have me not have that daily deliverable that was always kind of hanging over my head. I'll be honest, the first week after I stopped vlogging, I didn't ever want to vlog again. I was completely happy with crossing it off my list of things to do, eliminating it from my kind of life eliminating it from my life. But after having these few weeks off from vlogging, I have realized that another positive aspect of the vlog for me was having a scheduled deliverable. Throughout the past year, I would sometimes have these days or weeks where I did not feel creative. I didn't feel like writing music. I didn't feel like putting myself in front of 
anyone or or maybe we were just busy as a family because i was dedicated to putting out a vlog on a daily basis i would sometimes make vlogs that were um just lame literally just so i could check the box of putting the vlog out and after a handful of those i would start to feel like oh god i gotta i gotta make some kind of a quality vlog and so what it would do is it would force me to sit down and say all right i'll do a songwriting session tonight and i'll vlog it it would force me sometimes to work on something creative or something related to the music or there was even a handful of vlogs where I was showing more mundane personal stuff but I had maybe done the music behind it in GarageBand so it forced me to be creative that way. Sometimes it was just the deliverable of the vlog that got me doing the work that I needed to do. So I missed that and with some serious consideration, I decided that I am in fact gonna continue doing vlogs on a weekly basis. The vlogs are gonna come out on Thursdays between noon and 3 p.m. Okay, Priestess. The Priestess of Heartache music video is in the works. I don't have a release date set yet. We have already shot some of the footage for that video. to that song and to that video that we need to shoot and that's gonna be kind of fun because it's definitely gonna include some costumes storyboard that out and kind of figure out our locations and how we're gonna do it then I can better determine what the release date on that will be but it is coming okay shows we have a show on January 24th it's coming up Friday night in Providence at this really cool speakeasy bar called Isadora's it's like a no-name from the outside, you would not expect that there's even a bar in there at all. There is a gold door, and then on the gold door, I think it says go around back. And when you go around back, it's just an industrial door, maybe with some lumber leaning up against the side, um, bare light bulb type entrance. You would not expect it. And then you open the door, and it's just this gorgeous bar with um, great live music every Friday. So if you're anywhere near Providence, please come check us out down there. March 14th, I have a very unique show happening at the lily pad in boston i'm going to be doing some of my original music with a 10 piece band it'll give the songs a totally different feel and i have a few new songs that we're going to be doing with that group a lot of it is still in the works i'll tell you more about that as we get closer so that's all i got for right now i just kind of wanted to bring you up to speed and like i like i like to say this is just the beginning so i'll check in with you again next week thursday at noon for the next weekly installment of the lindsey buck vlog bye